Thank you, Deputy Speaker, sir. Under the dynamic leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the vision of the railway should be changed in the country. Just now, my friend spoke only throwing the mud on each other. The each member of the parliament who are sitting in this august house should introspect what we have done for the last 65 years for the railway. Railway is the one of the prestigious, many times you read in the newspapers, one Australia is always one continent of the world. The Indian Railway, the people are travelling every day in the railway. But virasat me hame mila hai debt trap. Abhi abhi hamara kaligh ne bol diya hai. Uske liye karan koon hai? Railway itna nuksan hone ke liye who is the responsible? From Karnataka also, from Kangal Anmantaya to Malikarjun Kargya and Sadhanand Gauda, the contribution is much from Karnataka also. But the previous governments have not done properly and they have not managed well. Hence, the railway has come to this situation. The people of this country, they are ready to pay better price, but they want on time. They want everything service. So today, the neighboring country trains are running 300 kilometer speed, but our trains are running 30 to 40 kilometers just adjacent to our China, they are making so many railway stations in different parts of the neighboring states, but we are unable to do that. So, sir, today is an auspicious day. Akshatritya, morning, Honorable Prime Minister blessed everybody. The country should make development like Basveshwara, Kayakave, Kailasa. We have to work together in the development of the country. So, throwing mud on each other. My dear friend has stated now, what are the vision for the railways now? The railway development, we have to take the, one of the largest transportation in the world. The Indian railway is the one of the largest transportation which can create more employment for the, our youths. Today, 35% of the youths in the country, they don't have jobs. If the previous governments have thought in that well and once, the employment could have been created for all these this thing. So because of that, when we compare with the foreign trains, our, why we are behind? So because of the vision, the previous government were not having vision and they were having only for the Goshna. And our Prime Minister's vision is the railway should be the poorest of the poor, the last person of the society should avail the facility of this railway. So, if the last person of the society fulfill the facility of this railway, then the country can make the prosperous and development in the coming days. Our Prime Minister's vision is to develop the railway. For the development of the railway, every year there is a railway convention committee. It can advise to the railway department and Ministry of Railways. So, as per that development, the railway has to go ahead. Now, the present situation, Mr. Suresh Prabhu's leadership, he has made much of the development. What are the priorities for the before us? Quality of life of the journey, station redevelopment, capacity augmentation, safety, technology upgradation, partnership for the development, improvement of the management of the process of the system, and resources mobilization. Human resource, energy and state, sustainability, and transparency governance in the initiative. The previous governments, they have not done much. When there was a Bharatiya Janata Party government in Karnataka, the then Chief Minister, Mr. Yadiyurappa, was given 50% of the contribution. My friend said, the states are unable to give the contribution for the railways. If the state do not give, it is a federal structure. In the federal structure, if the state and the center, if Team India, the dream of the Prime Minister is Team India, 
if the team india do not work together then the development cannot be done in each and everything the members of this house are politicizing the issue we have to see the world the world is progressing very fast instead of throwing the mud on each other we must work together and we must see that the the poorest of the poor person of this country and the poorest of the poor person of this country should get employment and the service and transportation and the farmer should get the benefit of this railway sir with all this development and this time mr suresh prabhu has given a budget to invest about 8.8 lakh 50000 crores in the coming days if the once the 8 lakh 50000 has been invested in the railways for the modernization new the, the network decongestion including dfc electrification doubling including electrification traffic facilities second network expansion national projects safety track renew, uh, renewal bridge works robs rubs signaling information technology research rolling stock locomotive wagons production maintenance passenger amenities high speed rail elevator corridors station develop redevelopments logistics other 8 lakh 50000 this year investment is going to be done so by this the youths of this country can get employment the huge employment for the employment our boys are going outside the country so all these days the previous government were not having the vision for the railways railway is then economic deep for the development of the country the railway is the important segment for the development of the country so today the suresh prabhu has made a vital uh, uh, development in the this thing previous government it has taken for me for in my constituency there was two robs i tried for last 10 years it was not happened and last when suresh prabhu has took over the charge then he has sanctioned two robs at belgam and i congratulate narendra modi after my government has come to the power at least belgam i got the robs in first time so many times the robs to get sanction they have to run here and there for years together now the decentralization of the power has given to the general manager to the divisional manager if once the divisional manager given the powers they should exercise and at the same time the mindset of the officers also should be changed the honorable minister take the note of that many times the officers are not giving you the true picture of the local area today any person see the railway station he he has to close his nose and his eyes and he has to move so we all should be introspect irrespective of the party line we have to see that the development of the railway stations railway tracks railway wagons and railways a common man of the country he should also travel in that usme koi bhi aadmi raha to bhi wo mai shanti se prayas kar prayan kar sakta hu aisa ye aana chahiye aajkal railway station bol diya to naak aur aankh band karke jana paristhiti aa jaye modi ji jadoo lene ke baad sab railway station sabhi swachh ho gaya ye ganda kon kiya tha itna saal tak ye gandgi karne ke liye kon zimmedari tha iske liye introspective my other side friends should think of today the railways is giving much employment for the everybody transportation my didi ko bhi abhinandan kar sakta hu she has given a the uh, pass for the 25 rupees when she was minister for a common man labors ke liye jaane ke liye 25 rupees mein jaane ke liye ek mp's letter de diya to izzat pass wo izzat se hamara garib se garib aadmi wo continue kar rahi wo hamara narendra modi bhi wo continue kiya hai 25 rupees mein koi kuli karne wala koi kaam karne wala koi mazdoor karne wala aadmi 100 km ja sakta hai kaam kar sakta hai wapas ghar cha sakta hai aaj iske liye railways for the poorest of the poor people we have forgotten our friends have made all these years only ac coaches ac me travel karna ek garib logon ke liye kabhi baat nahi kiya hai garib ka ghoshna karta hai magar poshna karta hai shrimant logon ke liye bade bade logon ke liye ye 65 saal mein wohi kaam hamara 
नेता ने किया है मैं विनंती हमारा नेता नहीं आपने किया है पोषण कर रहे इसके लिए आज रेलवे डेवलपमेंट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी हैव टू इंट्रोस्पेक्ट आवर सेल्फ ईच मेंबर ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट एंड सी दैट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ईच रेलवे स्टेशन आई माय वन सजेशन टू आवर ऑनरेबल रेलवे मंत्री जी सुरेश प्रभु जी एंड मनोज मनोज सिन्हा जी लाइक लाइक इन जिला पंचायत हाउ दे आर मेकिंग द कमिटी चेयरमैन फॉर ईच डिस्ट्रिक्ट द रेलवे आल्सो शुड मेक द चेयरमैन ऑफ द रिस्पेक्टिव मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट देन द रिस्पेक्टिव मेंबर्स कैन टेक मच इंटरेस्ट इन द रेलवे डेवलपमेंट आल्सो एंड क्लीनिंग आल्सो सो ईच कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी शुड बी मेड देम एज ए रेलवे चेयरमैन अदरवाइज द रेलवे अथॉरिटी स्टिल दे आर गोइंग अंडर द ब्रिटिश रूल ओनली दे आर नॉट थिंकिंग दैट दे आर द इंडियन रेलवे स्टिल the laws and regulations are following followed by the those of the british rules so i request honorable minister change okay. in the system make the respective uh, member of parliament to see that the station and the railway track should be clean and neat and the service oriented and i congratulate honorable railway yeah, minister yeah, for making the development of the railways and once again right. i congratulate the honorable prime minister for developing the keeping the vision for the railway in coming days thank you sir right.